Hey everyone, today we're comparing four awesome database tools, NoCodeDB, BaseRow, Airtable, and Supabase. I'll explain each one quick, then break down what they're best for. Let's dive in. First up, we have NoCodeDB. It's an open source no-code tool that turns your databases like MySQL or PostgreSQL into spreadsheet style setups. It's free if you host it yourself, super flexible, and great for teams who want control without coding. Next up, we have BaseRow. Also open source and no-code, it's built for managing data with a clean interface. It's similar to NoCodeDB, but shines with big data sets and teamwork. You can host it yourself too, which keeps costs low. Then there's Airtable. It's a cloud-based tool, not open source, that mixes spreadsheets with databases' power. It's crazy easy to use, has cool views like Kanban and and connects to tons of apps. And it has a paid service for bigger teams. Last up, we have Supabase. This one's open source and gives you full backend Think database, real-time updates, and authentication. It's more for developers building apps, but it's got some no-code perks too, free if you host it. So, how do they stack up? For ease of use, no-code DB, base row, and Airtable are no-code champs. Perfect if you're not a tech wizard, Supabase needs some coding know-how. For cost, no-code DB, base row, and Supabase are free with self-hosting. Airtable's paid plans can add up. No-code DB and base row are best for no-code teams who want free custom options, and Airtable's your pick for a slick, managed experience. Supabase is the go-to for app developers. Small team, no budget, no code DB or base row. Non-techie and wanted easy, Airtable. Building an app, Supabase. That's it guys. Which one's your favorite? Drop a comment and I'll see you in the next one.